some days it can be that bad. But today I wanted to get out of the bed. And I feel like that's a start. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like yourself. What do you do when you're like not sad and you're not mad? 
bad, you're not, you're just, your energy is just off. What do you do? I don't know. If you watched my, you can't even see me like this. If you watched my recent upload, the chit chat, wind down with me, I talked about how talking to the camera is therapeutic for me. Well, also something else that I started trying. I try to talk to myself, not in this mirror, I have a, a large full length mirror in my other room. And I'll write like affirmations down on it. And typically, I, the, la the latest one I did was like a 21 day affirmation. And I wrote it down and I tally marked, you can tell my energy, I tally marked it for 21 days. And I would just say it to myself in the mirror each time. And I meant to erase it, and I had a friend come over, and she was getting ready in the mirror. And she didn't peep it at first, because it was kind of like in the lower right hand corner, and then like she did a double take. She was like, wow. Like she really liked that information, but I don't know, that was just kind of personal for me. Like, so anyway, long story short, I do like to talk to myself in the mirror. I feel like it's like, be nice to myself whenever I feel down. Cause I don't even know how to feel down the bell, girl. You know what we're gonna do today, but sitting in the house is not gonna fix anything. I was supposed to get my hair done yesterday, and I ended up canceling my appointment, and I'm sad. I canceled my appointment because I thought I was gonna go to work, and I just ended up going to work. And then after that, I just kind of spiraled. I just didn't care. I could have been like, hey, I can get my hair done again, but I just didn't because I just wasn't in the mood. And I feel like I should have gotten my hair done because I feel like that would have made me feel a little bit better because when you feel good, you look good. So that's why I'm going to get my nails done. I feel crazy right now. I feel so crazy. I look like a ballerina. I'm not cutting today. I'm not doing anything today. I feel that we need
put it on me But baby, it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Baby, it's you talking about nursing school but then we just started talking about life in general <clears throat> I don't know it was an interesting conversation I'm really glad I didn't want to go over there first just because like I just didn't feel like being around anybody no I didn't feel like being around anybody but that's how the universe and God be working because I needed to go over there I needed to just talk and that's it's so crazy like I didn't even plan on having like any type of conversation outside of nursing school and just small talk because we've never like hung out before we've never like we've known each other like on social media and stuff and we went to the same university but and she's like a little bit older than me too but I didn't get that talk. Sometimes you just have to talk it out. That's why I didn't mind turning on the camera today and being a little bit vulnerable. I, I struggle with being vulnerable and showing emotions. And I don't know, someone texts me, someone, my childhood like best friend, Brooke, if you're watching this, hey girl, hey. <laughs> She, um, she did not text me. She DM'd me because she had posted something on her story on social media. And I just like slid up and sent her like the heart eyes because she was like super cute. And I we haven't talked in so long. Like she literally lives in Australia now. That's amazing to me. She lives in Australia. And she was telling me that at the time that I had slid up her story that she was watching my chit chat. Get ready with me. Thank you for watching. <laughs> And drinking wine while she was watching it. 
you know, we were just going back and forth and she just said it looks like I was thriving. And when I read that message, I was like, wow, does it really look like I'm thriving? Like, I don't want to put on like this facade. Where's the facade? I think it's facade. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad with words. Um, I don't ever want to put on this facade that I'm thriving or I'm living my best life if I don't feel like I'm thriving or that I'm I don't want to ever fake the funk like I know people say fake it till you make it but I don't ever want to fake the funk but when she sent me that message she was like it looks like you're thriving I literally like I remember when I read that message I was at work and I put my phone down and I was thinking like am I thriving that was just a couple of days ago like this week I, I'm telling y'all I've been in like the weirdest mood ever and I think that kind of triggered me a little bit when she said I was thriving because on the inside I just I don't feel like I'm thriving and then part of the conversation that I had with the friend that I met earlier I just feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to have more going on and I'm not about to cry right now I feel like I'm supposed to have more going on for myself but I have to remind myself I'm only 24 and I've kind of been off social media a little bit this week. Like, I haven't really been keeping up with anything. Like, I've just been trying to worry about me. Yeah, I've just been trying to worry about me. Because it's so easy to get on social media and, like, feel like you're supposed to be doing more or have more. Or just, I don't know. And I just started feeling that way. And I just feel like I'm supposed to have a lot more going on for myself. And then... Today I just had to say it out loud that I'm in the best position that I've ever been in. And I really had to say that out loud to her to like realize it that I am in the best position that I've ever been in. So I, I, I'm just really hard on myself and I mean I am so hard on myself and I think not too long ago I tweeted about the, the biggest lesson for this year being um, to get out of my own way. Because sometimes I, I'm hard on myself and I push myself because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. But I sometimes I just need to be a little bit more gentle. Sometimes I just need to be a little bit more gentle. We're just going to be a little bit more gentle with Tierra. And I know that this isn't going to solve all of my problems with being gentle, but I think I can just start taking it day by day. Um, I don't ever want to put on a front that I'm something or someone that I'm not or I'm living some life that I'm not living. That's not me. Uh, me and my friend were just, I just got the phone with another friend and we were talking about that. I don't ever want to put on the front that I'm living a life that's not really a true reflection of me. And there was a social media post that was something like a lot of people are going to wake up 30 years from now and realize all they did was impress those social media and that I don't want to be one of those people. I'm trying to impress me. I'm trying to prove to myself the things that I never thought I could accomplish. I'm going to do that. The only person I'm worried about impressing is me. But anyways, um, I, I, I get like this sometimes. I hate to admit it. I do. I have my days where I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to talk to anybody. And that it kind of really set in last night. I didn't answer the phone. I wasn't replying back to messages. Like I just didn't want to be bothered. And I feel like me kind of working a lot and picking up ex extra shifts is me just kind of not dealing with the emotions that I feel. I feel like it's just more of a distraction. And t today I didn't want to be distracted. I'm like, okay, I'm going to allow myself to feel whatever it is I'm feeling. I'm going to like move around and just go through the motions like we're gonna figure it out turn the camera on and talk about it because i'm i think i'm okay with i think i'm okay with be, being vulnerable i hope i upload this video but i feel like going back and editing it is gonna be kind of hard
hard, especially this morning. What do y'all do whenever you get like this? Like when you just have one of your days? Like what do you do? Do you talk to people? Do you have like extra self-care? in your sadness that's personally my favorite thing to do usually I just don't even get out of bed I don't feed myself I don't it's like what do you do I don't want to be a person that I mean some days some days I don't get out of the bed some days it can be that bad but today I wanted to get out of the bed and I feel like that's a start. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Nah, I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb 